taking vitamins. A lot of us take them. We mm -hmm. take supplements. It's just really part People of our... People think it's healthy, right? They do. It's part of our daily routine mm -hmm. for many of us. But did you know, you know, whether you're taking the right ones, you're maybe not sure, and are you getting the proper dosage? It turns out too much of a good thing can actually do some harm. I take vitamin D, vitamin B12, and omega. I take vitamin D, drops. I take zinc also. I take a multivitamin, calcium, wild salmon oil, vitamin D. Vitamin C, D, a multivitamin, the list goes on. And when it comes to choosing which ones to take, they don't always come doctor recommended. I get them from the, my trainer. We try to recommend that people get the majority of their vitamins and minerals from food. So just how much of a vitamin should we take? We figure they're good for us, they can do no harm, but it really depends on which one. And one you'll want to watch out for is vitamin D. It's a fat-soluble vitamin. You can overdose on certain vitamins, particularly the fat-soluble vitamins, so vitamins A, D, E, and K. They hang around in our system. They get absorbed into the fat cells in our body and we don't excrete them. Getting too much vitamin C could be taxing on your kidneys, leaving you with painful stones. Adults need between 75 and 90 milligrams a day. While iron is essential during pregnancy, about 27 milligrams per day, too much of it could be binding. High doses of fish oil can increase your risk of bleeding. Pairing it with blood thinners like aspirin can be dangerous. Stick with two to three servings of fatty fish a week or 500 milligrams of omega-3s a day. Potassium is a no-go unless recommended. It can cause irregular heart rhythms. And taking too much vitamin E, any more than 260 milligrams, can be deadly. You should not be taking vitamin E with the exception of small amounts that might occur in a multivitamin. That's associated with increased all-cause mortality. I'm sure a lot of people don't give this much thought, right? They just pop the vitamins because yeah. they think it's good for you. Of course, you just look a few things up online and mm -hmm. vitamins are good for you, so why wouldn't they be? Something I didn't know until we spoke with the, uh, the registered dietitian is that children, so when it comes to babies under a year, they need the vitamin D. We've heard of the mm -hmm. D drops, but even if they're formula fed, chances are they wouldn't get enough in their fortified formula mm. because they need about a liter a day to get that. And I guess the best advice here is always consult a doctor. That's written right on the yes. vitamin. It says it right on the packaging, right. doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Right before you do this kind of stuff.